Hi everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about um, really, really bizarre going on with trolling in the comments section of a few videos. So I'm going to rewind back to Wednesday, um, minding my own business and a notification pinged up in my phone and I had a good look and it was my comment section of my videos. It's not unusual that I get lots of comments, I sometimes scroll through them, I get to them eventually and I reply to each and every one of them, but something in this comment that made me really stand up and say, whoa, I need to look at this comment right now. And it was the word rape was used in the comment and I thought, who's going to use that word in my comment section? Instantly I got a horrible feeling about it, I felt really uncomfortable and I decided to open it up and it, it said um, a person's name, I'm in a Facebook group with you, you evil stinky cunt and I'm reporting everything straight to JK which is our very favourite YouTube creator in the whole wide world don't worry, just because you bought my friend a mic doesn't mean you can slander him. Ugly cunt, someone should rape your children with iron rods. I am friends with this person. So this troll, because that's what you are if you're watching, left this comment on my comment section. Immediately I took a screenshot, I filed a police report, I flagged the comment and I blocked the user. But this kept happening throughout a few creators videos and this person seems to be gunning for one or two individuals absolutely relentlessly using various different YouTube usernames to say things like they're going to rape the children, they're going to kidnap people, they're going to kill pets, all of this kind of stuff which is absolutely disgusting. Um, some of the usernames are actually the username of another YouTube creator and I'm going to put this right out here. They're using John Cookian's name, the John Cookian Army, to leave these horrible comments. John, if you're watching this video, I'm going to leave your name so that you are flagged about the video. Um, I absolutely ask that you address this because you're a creator and if these people are speaking for you, you have a responsibility to say something. We have our differences, but this is not funny. You cannot have your name used alongside words like rape and kidnap. If you are okay with that, ignore it and carry on. If you're not okay with that, then you should absolutely be addressing this issue. And I know that you know because it has been brought to your attention on various social media streams. But anyway, back to my story. Thank you. In the comments section, horrible, horrible things were being said and I um, consoled one of the people who had horrible things being said about her. It is very upsetting, she won't mind me telling you and it's just absolutely awful. And the trolls, you know what, on this occasion you won. If you set out to upset somebody and make them frightened, that's absolutely what you did. So congratulations, I just want to say your bullying worked out perfectly. But I'm also going to say to you, what you put out into the universe is exactly what you're going to get back. And I really, really, truly believe that. So your threats really are threats to yourself. So send all the hate messages out to the universe and you're going to get them all back. And um, what can I say? You will be, it's karma. You either can do good and get all the good back or you can do bad and get all the bad back. So I decided in haste, what do I do about this? Um, people wanted to be part of a group, people wanted to be able to talk about YouTubers, people wanted to be able to talk about drama. This is not new people, by the way. This, uh, people talking about YouTube and drama has been going on for a very, very long time. However, people feel the need to be defending their favourite YouTubers and using absolutely disgusting foul language and trolling people and because I have made a few videos about um, John and various other drama channels, they seem to think that I'm the place to come to troll people because people watching my content either hate watch it or watch it because they agree somewhat in the things that I say. So for me, I felt responsible, I felt guilty, I felt absolutely terrible. I thought, what can I do? Um, these comment sections are open and I want to keep my comment section open, it's my responsibility to flag anything, report anything, um, raise any concerns, contact the police and we can do that. Um, however, 
In terms of social media, that is also how I communicate with a lot of my very, very loyal subscribers. What on earth am I going to be able to do to reassure people that I take their safety seriously? And what can I create that will allow me to have communication with my most loyal people in a really safe environment where trolls, um, if they are going to be there, then at least we know exactly who these trolls are. Because the thing with trolls is that they're keyboard gangsters. They're very, very brave to say things unless you know anything about these people. In which case, they're not going to say the, the things that they say online, no matter how hurtful they are. Nobody's going to walk up to somebody and say, I'm going to rape your children in real life. That's what trolls say online to get a reaction. And you won on this occasion. You did get a reaction. So I thought, what am I going to be able to do to make the social media that I'm involved in less faceless. I have Twitter, as you know, I have Snapchat, as you know, and I'm a big boy, I can deal with everybody there. But when I'm in a Facebook group with another creator or some um, people who subscribe or anybody else, I, ca I can't control what goes on. I can't control what can be taken out of context. I can't control who's in there. I can't control any stories going backwards and forwards or indeed anybody being picked out and targeted for anything that they might have said, even if it was true. Um, I, don't, I don't like liars, so that's one thing. I'm not going to associate myself with somebody who tells heaps and heaps of lies. I'm not going to do that. So I thought long and hard, what am I going to do to make sure that my interactions are nice and safe? And I decided to open a Patreon. I am charging the minimum, minimum amount that you can charge of $1. And... I then know that the people that I have in my little group are members of my Patreon. They pay $1 a month. Therefore, their payment details are verified. Therefore, we know exactly who these people are. I am not going to make much money out of Patreon. I will, if I have thousands of people there, it might make a difference to my life. But I don't have thousands of people there. And I don't imagine that I will have thousands of people there. So that's what I decided to do. And then all of a sudden it was my turn to be trolled. So I'm going to tell you about exactly what happened um, the day after I decided to open my Patreon. And I'm going to just look at my phone here to get the tweets because I think they're absolutely fucking hilarious that somebody would take time out of their life to criticise me or um, come to me with anything when clearly they actually just don't like me. And that's fine. I, I don't care if you don't like me. That That's cool. If you don't like me, that's fine. Don't watch. If you do like me, I love you back and that's all good. That's human nature. I'm emotionally intelligent enough to know the difference. So that's fine. So I had a troll come to me saying, good idea attacking yourself using a fake black profile and then becoming a victim. You are vile. Meaning the Trolls that I mentioned earlier in my comments section talking about raping people that I had created those accounts and I had said those disgusting things to my friends and people that I'm associated with. These comments were left in creators spaces that I am not associated with on any level so I can assure you it's not me um, that's responsible for this but this troll who's now coming for me thinks that I am. And I clapped back because I am a messy as fuck bitch and I am not going to be as upset about trolls. You can troll me if you like, not bothered. And I mean that. I have dealt with worse people than you. I've dealt with better looking people than you. I've dealt with bigger people than you. And whatever anybody has to say to me, I can trust you. Trust and believe. I'll tell you in a story time sometime. I've heard worse. I've had worse things happen to me than anything you can say to me on the internet. I'm not at all concerned. I'm not worried about the things that you say. So this troll, I clapped back, obviously. And I said, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what's going on here? I've just woken up in the morning. This is the first thing that I've seen. You're accusing me of making a horrible um, YouTube, fake YouTube account. I can barely keep on top of my own comment section without creating new YouTube accounts to leave comments. And I had said, on my next tweet, I'm almost there with her safe space, meaning my Patreon. The details are on my website, hellojohn.co.uk, if you're interested in finding out about that. We're almost there, 
I couldn't decide whether I was going to have a Facebook group, I couldn't decide whether I was going to have a forum. I have now decided that I'm going to go down the forum route because not everybody has Facebook. Some people have left Facebook because of trolling, believe it or not, and I decided I'm going to have a forum. It's going to be my space, I will moderate it, I'll decide and I will absolutely have checked everybody that goes into that space because you will have paid a very, very, very minimal amount of one dollar. So therefore, through the payment system at Patreon, I'll know who you are. And then I can assure people that are in that space that you're less likely to be trolled because a troll's not going to pay a dollar, they're going to have to verify who they are, and I am going to feel so much more comfortable in that situation. And guess what? If I make a bit of money out of it, absolutely fine. I'm creating a forum, I'm paying for the hosting, I've paid for my domain name, I'm putting all the work into it, so who cares? Who cares? I'm a YouTuber that makes a, a little bit of money on the internet. Whatever. So, this next person, the, the um, troll came back to say, you're so thirsty. And I'm like, thirsty? What? How am I thirsty? What, what thirst have I displayed on the internet? None. So we just ignored that. Um, I just said, I'm not in the mood to play with you. Fuck off. Um, honestly, and that's just how I left it. This person, honestly, has come back then to say, and I'm going to just ad-lib a little bit because I didn't even bother to take a screenshot. They've come back to say, I am profiteering from trolling, which is ironic because you yourself are a troll, when in actual fact... Let's break down the sums here, because I'm sure this troll's going to watch this video, and I'm going to explain it to you in simple, simple terms, and I'll exchange the currency for you as well, because I think that you're a bit of a dumbass. One dollar per month is what I'm charging to be a VIP. For that one dollar a month, I am giving exclusive content to the people that have become VIPs. I have already posted stuff there that I haven't posted out to everybody because they're paying me a dollar a month. I'm going to give them some VIP stuff. I interact with them on Patreon and we have private conversations there and I'm absolutely certain, sure and comfortable that they are who they say they are. I have a forum in the works at the minute that will be ready very, very soon and my um, VIPs will be invited there and they can hang out there and they can talk makeup, beauty, gossip, YouTube. They can drag your favourite fucking YouTuber if they like. I don't care. I don't care. It's their space to talk about what they want to talk about because guess what? We live in a land of free speech and we should be allowed to say what we want to say as long as it's not abusive, not racist, not homophobic, not sexist then I'm absolutely cool with that. You know, if we're going to be critiquing a video or agreeing with somebody or disagreeing with somebody, that's life. Guys, why are you taking it so fucking seriously? People will disagree with the things. You, people are sitting shaking their heads at their screens right now saying, John, you're crazy. I disagree with what you're saying. That's fine. But for the people who do agree, I've created this space and it's $1 a month. They will also get these videos, so this video, the Patreons have, ha have already seen it an hour ago, at least. They're going to get the videos an hour before everybody else. Um, from the $1 that they pay, Patreon will take a cut of that money, probably about 20 to 30%, somewhere along those lines, which leaves me with 80 cents, somewhere around that. 80 cents in UK money is 50 pence per person, per month. 50 pence. To put you into the picture, a cup of Starbucks coffee in the UK, the type that I drink, is about four pounds. So I need eight people in my group to buy me one cup of coffee per month. So if you think that that is profiteering from trolling and people's um, upset, then that is on you. That is totally fine. You know what? You keep your dollar because I don't need it. It will not make a difference to me whatsoever. I'm not bothered. You won't be in my group. You won't be in my forum. You won't get the sneak peeks. You won't get any of my personal life. I will give you the same as I give to every other subscriber because that's what I choose to put out there. So, 
For everybody that has become a Patreon and a VIP, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Anybody that's considering it or thinking about it, just hit me up on my website. It's hellojohn.co.uk. The link is down below. I am absolutely not offended if it's not for you. It isn't for everybody. Some people like a bit more engagement. That's a totally personal thing. That's a choice. What I can't have is losing sleep at night worrying about my subscribers being threatened and their family being threatened and bad words, horrible, disgusting, disgraceful, vile words like rape and murder and torture and all of this bullshit that goes along with it is my choice to be on the internet. It's your choice to consume whatever media you choose to consume on the internet and it's your choice whether you want to engage with me but I promise you this if I, if I as a creator see anybody use my name for trolling I will absolutely call it out and I'll talk about how disgusting it is and I'll work with whatever authority I need to work with to have that content removed and I will reach out to the people who are affected by this bullshit and make sure that they know it is absolutely nothing to do with me. It's terrorism online and it is not acceptable. And in addition to that, if I can create a, a safe space for my subscribers to say whatever they choose to say because it is a free fucking country, then I'm going to do that too. Listen, thank you for listening to me, Ran. I know this video has been going on for such a long time and it is a real ranty video. Thank you so much for your patience. I'm going to say hello to these VIPs up here. Bam, bam, bam. They have already joined. Hello, John. VIP. The credits will roll at the end of the video. If you want to hit me up on social media, the links are down below, as is my website address. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you can see one of my latest videos right here. Goodbye.